One in two people will be affected by cancer at some point in their lives. And so it's very likely that you will know someone who has been affected by cancer. Talking about cancer can be difficult and intimidating. And if you know someone who has been affected by cancer, you may be afraid to open up a conversation just in case the topic of the big C comes up. Of course, you don't want to upset them, make them more anxious or even offend them in any way. And so some people do find navigating this a little bit tricky. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha, and in this video, I'm going to be going through seven things not to say to someone who has been affected by cancer. Number seven, at least you got the good cancer. I'm afraid you can't really dress up cancer. It is still a disease that can have an impact both physically and mentally, and it does still cause death. Truthfully, you don't really know the prognosis of someone's cancer, and sometimes even the doctors looking after them can't really say for sure. There is no good cancer, I'm afraid. Number six, but you look so well. This of course has good intentions behind it. You want to cheer up the person and say that they look well, and that actually may be the case. However, although they may look well, they may not be feeling that great deep down. They may be struggling, hurting, they may be anxious or scared. Looking well outside doesn't always reflect what they may be feeling inside. Number five, stay positive. Those who have been affected by cancer should have the space to feel whatever feelings they have, whether that's anger, fear, stress, loneliness, or even anxiety. And being told to stay positive, even when they may want to do that, can be incredibly hard. People cope in different ways and telling them to stay positive may not be helpful. Number four, it's only hair, it'll grow back. Hair is an extremely personal thing. For many people, it is part of their identity. Their hair makes them feel good, look good, and people take a huge amount of pride in their hair. How it feels, how it smells, and how it can be an integral part of who they are. Yes, of course, hair will grow back, but losing hair as part of cancer treatment can be absolutely devastating. And it's one of the most feared side effects of chemotherapy for many, many people. Number three, I'm sure you'll be fine. This is usually said with good intention and it is something easy to say because it's uplifting, hopeful, and it avoids the thoughts and potential difficult conversations about what if it doesn't go so well. The thing is, you don't really know if a person with cancer will be fine. Nothing, unfortunately, is certain in life, and this is particularly true for those who have had cancer treatment. The best thing that you can do is to be there for them whenever they need help or support. Number two, well done in getting through your treatment. Now you can get back to normal. Yes, finishing cancer treatment is a milestone, whether that's surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, or all of those treatments. Treatment can be really tough. However, there is no such thing as getting back to normal after finishing cancer treatment. That person will be living with the knowledge that they have had cancer and will continue to worry about the possible consequences of that diagnosis. In addition, although cancer treatment may have ended, many people may still be on treatments such as tablet treatment, like letrozole or tamoxifen if you've had breast cancer. And these can also have very significant side effects that can even be more challenging than the initial treatment. So normality doesn't really exist post-cancer treatment. And number one, so how did they find it? By asking this, you are forcing people to go through the difficult moments of their cancer diagnosis all over again. These are very personal questions and some may not want to share this. Being told that you have cancer is incredibly upsetting and difficult. And by asking that question, the trauma and the pain of having cancer will be relived by that person. Many would rather be looking forward to the future rather than reliving the difficult past. So what things can you say? What you can do is offer to help them and offer to help them with specific tasks. Rather than saying, is there anything I can do to help? Be more specific. Let me do your shopping tomorrow. If they have kids, offer to pick them up. I'll drop over some food or dinner for you sometime next week. Let me drive you to the next treatment session. Being specific really does help. The other thing that you can do is a simple question. How are you doing today? This acknowledges their cancer and gives permission for them to talk about how they are feeling if they so choose. It signals to them that you are not avoiding the cancer topic, which allows a conversation to open up if needed. 
I hope this has been helpful. I will see you in the next video. Take care.